Hello students, welcome back to our channel General Learnings. In this video, you are going to learn multiplication of a number that ends with 0. Let us start now. First, we are going to see multiply by 10. Let us take one example. They have given 3 into 10. So, 10 has 1 0. So, when we multiply a number by 10, we write 1 0 to the right of a number. That is in the 1's place. So, 0 should be written in the 1's place. And then multiply the remaining number by 1. 3 into 1. So, 3 1's are 3. So, that should be written in the 10's place. So, the answer will be 3 into 10 equal to 30. Now, we will see another one example. They have given 26 into 10. Since 10 is here, has 1 0. So, when we multiply a number by 10, we write 1 0 to write of a number. That is in the 1's place. So, 0 should be written in the 1's place and then multiply the remaining number. 26 into 1, we get 26. So, 6 should be written in the 10's place and 2 should be written in the 100's place. 26 into 10, we get 260. Now, we will see another one example. They have given 594 into 10. So, 10 has 1 0. That 0 should be written in the 1's place. Now we are going to multiply the remaining number. That is 594 into 1. We get 594. So the 4 should be written in the 10's place. 9 should be written in the 100's place. And 5 should be written in the 1000's place. So 594 into 10 equal to 5940. Next, we are going to see when we multiply a number by the multiples of 10. That is 20, 30, 40, 50 and so on. We write 0 at the right end and multiply the remaining digit. Let us take one example. They have given 2 into 40. So, while multiplying a 40 by a one digit number, first write 0 on the right end that is in the 1's place. So, 0 should be written in the 1's place because 40 has 1 0. Then multiply 2 by 4. So, 2 4 are. So, we get 2 4 are 8. That 8 should be written in the 10's place. So, 20 into 40 equal to 80. Now, we will see another one example. They have given 13 into 50. We can do this multiplication vertically as well. Since 50 is a two digit number, the place value will be 1s and 10s. Now we are going to arrange this number vertically and we are going to multiply them. Since 50 is has 1 0, write 0 on the extreme right in the 1s place. Next, multiply 13 by 5. First, we are going to multiply 5 into 3. So, 5 3 is 15. Write 5 in the tens place and carry forward 1 to the tens place above 1. Next, we are going to multiply 5 into 1. So, 5 1 is 5. Now, we need to add the carried forward number 1 along with this 5. That is 5 plus 1. We get 6. So, 6 should be written in the hundreds place. So, 13 into 50, we get 650. Now, we are going to see the multiples by 100. Let us take one example. They have given 2 into 100. When we multiply a number by 100, we write 2, 0, to the right of a number. Since 100 is a 3 digit number, the place value will be 1 tens 100. So, when we multiply a number by 100, we need to write two zeros to write of a number. That is in 1s and 10s place. The two zeros should be written in 1s and 10s place. 
then multiply the remaining number by 1. 2 into 1. So, 2 1 so we get 2. The 2 should be written in the 100 place. So, 2 into 100 equal to 200. Now, we will see another one example. They have given 64 into 100. So, the place value will be 1 times 100 because 100 is a 3 digit number. Now, 100 has two zeros. That two zero should be written in ones and tens place at the extreme end. Next, we are going to multiply the remaining number by 1. That is 64 into 1. We get 64. So, 4 should be written in the hundred place and 6 should be written in the thousands place. So, the answer will be 64 into 100. We get 6400. Now, we are seeing. When we multiply a number by the multiples of 100, that is 200, 300, 400 and 500 and so on, we write 20 at the right end and multiply the remaining digit. Now we will see one example. They have given 7 into 200. Since 200 has 20, write 20 at the extreme end that is in ones place and tens place then multiply the remaining number that is 7 by 2 so 7 twos are 14 so 4 should be written in the hundred place and 1 should written in the thousands place so 7 into 200 we get 1400 now we will see another one example they have given 36 into 200 we can do this multiplication in vertical as well. Now we are going to write the place value. Since 200 is a 3 digit number, the place value will be 1 stands 100. Now we are going to arrange this number vertically according to their place value. And then we are going to multiply them. We write 200 below 36 even though it is bigger number. That is 200 is bigger than 36. This is because without 2 0, the 2 is a single digit number. And then which is smaller than 36. So that only we written 200 below 36. So since 200 has 2 zeros, that 2 zero should be written in 1s and 10s place. And then multiply the remaining number that is 36 by 2. Two. So, we need to multiply 36 into 2. For that, first we need to multiply 6 into 2. So, 6 twos are 12. That 2 should be written in hundreds place and 1 should carry over towards the tens place above 3. And then we need to multiply 2 into 3. So, 2 threes are 6. And then we need to add the carry forward number 1 along with the 6 which is 6 plus 1. We get 7. That 7 should be written in the thousands place. So 36 into 200 we get 7200. Okay student I hope you understand this concept. Thanks for watching. If you want more videos like this please go and visit my YouTube channel at Gender Learnings 91. Thank you.